and like a watch in the night. You carry them away like a flood. They are like a sheep in the morning. They are like grass which grew up. In the morning it flourish and grows up. In the evening it is cut down and withered. For we have been consumed by your anger and by your wrath we are terrified. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light of your countenance. For all our days have passed away in your wrath. We finish our years like a sign. The day of our lives are 70 years. And if by reason of strength they are 80 years, yet their boast is only labor and sorrow. For it is soon cut off and we flee away. We know the power of your anger. For as the fear of you, so is your wrath. So teach us to number our days that we may gain an heart of wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long? And have compassion on your servant. O satisfy us early with your mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad according to the days in which you have afflicted us and the years in which you have seen evil. Let your work appear to your servants and your glory to their children. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us and establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As was in the beginning, it's now, and ever shall be one without end. Amen. Shall we pray? Father, in Jesus' name. Our Lord God will come before your throne this evening. Lord, not as someone that has righteousness of his own, but as someone that believes in the righteousness of Jesus Christ. And we plead by your mercy this evening that you forgive us in Jesus' name. Lord, we say your mercy prevail over judgment. And so we pray that by the mercy of the Lord Jesus, you will cleanse us from every of our sins in Jesus' name. Lord, we declare that you will sanctify this auditorium with your power this evening in the name of Jesus. Lord, you will sanctify every one of us present here in the name of Jesus. Lord, you will sanctify every segment of today's program in the name of Jesus. Lord, we require that your heavenly host will fellowship with us this evening in the name of Jesus. And at the end of this service today, Lord, all glory and honor will be unto you. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And the Lord's prayer, our Father, what in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth. That is in heaven. Give us this, this, our daily bread. This will give us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Authority of heaven and earth, seal up our prayers in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. We proceed in the service as we take the thanksgiving him. CNS in 93. Now thank we all our God. A forbear for long.
Let us pray. Our Father and our Lord, eternal rock of ages, we just want to bless your name. We thank you for your goodness, mercy, and kindness over us. For preserving us and keeping us for today. For this glorious day that you have ordained and you have planned, you have made for us to give thanks unto you. Be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Father, we want to appreciate your goodness, your mercy, and your favor over all we children that we give us opportunity to be the partaker of this ceremony to celebrate a special day to give thanks on behalf of our late father Samuel Adefila Abidoye. We give thanks to your name. Be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Father, for today that you have made a date to give honor to you. Father, you take that you take preeminence in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, you have answered us. We shall be always grateful to you, for we give pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Authority from heaven, sanction this prayer. Let our praise be acceptable to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. I will proceed as we take these three hymns. The first two hymns with the white sitting, while the last hymn with the white standing. We will take Sian Nurse 753, All Dearly Cherished Brethren, as the first hymn. And we will take Sian Nurse 759, Now the Liberal Tax is Over, as the second hymn. While we take CNS in 365, there is a joyful home eternal as the third aim which we take while standing.
a mim.
let's rise to take the third day.
and our God. We, your children, have gathered here this evening. We have come here to thank you for giving us this beautiful day that we are having the service of songs of our beloved, darling Father. Lord, we give you all the glory for making us to come here. We have come here to thank you. I last thing that's it, Baba. What's in law? Eh, you don't want to look at Coco Shelley. I do back there for a new job. I do back there for a new Sura. I do back there for a lie. I do back there at our job. A job pay, a job cosire, or do a dog pay wa. I told you now, one red bar, ye wa. I want to buy a pay in the locker locker. You got what is that way? I see wa. Oh, I like that way, your shell. I barely are doing that, your joy, no. Why like that, Muko shell? I was it to need that way, bear. In my time, I'm on Bobasi, Barry, or my brook of me shell. Baba egg dog pay wa. I told you, I got you. What? Maybe Bobo Lana Bobo at him walk by what? For and Lana, eighty a chef for what? Nino, your movement. Bye bye, Nino, delay Babawa. I your fair wa, all you fair wa, Babawa, Dara Dara. I do back by what? Lie down when you shall let me know. I do back by a dew or more. I do back by a few ones. Silly, then on that fairly cacosilla, Nino, Leonica Lukua. Nini Johnny Kaluku, Ewa Kalua, Oma Buru, I like a man, your shell. Baba, me more long and la, a dog, Pawa. I told you, I got you, wa. Tis in all my yin, eh? Tis in all my beinga, like your good Jesu Christi, O Luawa. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are taking another three hymns. The first two while seated, and the last, the third one while standing. CNS M85. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Then the second one, CNS M749. Servant of God, well done. The third him, which we take while standing, the CNS hymn 751, shall we gather at the river?
us rise as we take the third hymn. Jesus Christ. Abele, fun abo to ni pon to gboro. Ati anu ni oruko Jesus Oluwada bo yin bo wa. Fun yin dile baba wa. Ati ijo Olorun ni oruko Jesus Oluwada bo yin bo wa. Labia bo yin ni oruko Jesus ma ka yo sonu. Ani lo anu ninu rin ajo aye wa. Ati dile baba. Ologbe ati ijo Olorun ni oruko Jesus anu la Oluwa fi wa wa ri. Ni ori leje Oluwa je kari anugba ninu ijo Olorun Oluwa je kari anugba legbe legbe je kari anugba atoro abebe ni oruko na ti Jesu Christi Oluwa wa ase ti Olorun baba omo ati emi mimo ko da wa lombi ati bere Jesu Oluwa wa praise the lord Living so praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Now we are on item 10. Where we'll be calling on our council, pastoral, evangelical teachers, and our mother churches for their tributes. We urge every one of us to please keep to time as we have just five, five minutes for our tributes. Now permit me to call on prophetic council for their tribute. Please let's celebrate the CSP as he moves forward to pay Baba the last respect. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Uh, I want to thank the Almighty God for this special program. And I want to thank the leadership of this church, His Grace, Most Reverend Emmanuel Abiodun Alugo, and the Beria Committee Chairman, 
and the leadership of the church at large and the church as a whole. Baba Abidoye, it is only the side by which you have seen you can say about. Nobody can tell us the life history of Baba as a single person. But permit me to start from the time Baba became Baba Ladura in 2006. And 2006 to date, which is about 18 years, Baba is the longest serving Baba Ladura in this holy order. So shall we give him a round of applause? In his time, as revert to the prophetic ministry, before Baba became Baba Ladura, it used to take three years interval when we leave, we come for staff of office and after three years come for ordination. As I said, Baba became spiritual father 2006 and the first ordination he was to do in 2008, Baba changed the pattern of the ordination. He told us that you cannot keep people in waiting. You cannot continue to waste their time and money for them to come for one year for the staff of office at another three years for ordination. Baba changed the ordination pattern for prophet ministry. And so, since 2008, every ordained has their both staff of office and anointing at the same time, the same year. Can we give a round of applause for that? Furthermore, Baba led us to Galilee in 2011. And the first Orib in this Galilee was held in the same year, 2011. And during that Orib period, 2011, and Baba believed in fission. There was a vision that Baba should be ordained as a prophet. So it was that 2011 Baba had his anointment as the prophet under this church. So in 2011, Baba became prophet. So since then, he has become uh, his great prophet, Samuel Adevila Abidoye. Uh, furthermore, in 2013, Baba changed, as Baba changed the pattern of the ordination, so Baba changed so many other things. And with the approval of Baba, we started the training, writing the examination, doing the spiritual verification of those to be ordained. It wasn't easy, but Baba prevailed, God prevailed through Baba. And since that 2013, no prophet ordination without training, without examination, without screening, and without spiritual verification. So these are all what Baba did in his lifetime. Uh, in 2013, during Kaba conference, the prophetic ministry had been yearning for allocation of land. But Baba gave an approval in Kaba conference 2013 that prophetic ministry must be given a place to build for Oreb Grand in this Galilee. And early 2014, the foundation of the present Oreb Grand was laid by Baba Samuel at Devila Abidoye. The foundation of the Oreb in 2014 as triggered the development of this Galilee. When Baba saw what the prophets are doing at Oreb Grand, Baba called for electrification, road mapping, and every other thing. And that is how the development of Galilee started in 2014 through the prophetic ministry and the anointing of Baba Samuel Adevila Abidoye. That same 2014, funny enough, we started developing the Europe Grant. And the ordination fee is participatory between the private council 
and the conference. But because we are developing, we spend the whole money. And Baba Soman also, Kaduna, why is the conference money? We are spending it to develop Orif. Baba only told us that next time when you want to do a thing, take permission before you do it. So Baba teach us how to be official and do the right thing in the right direction. So, and therefore, in 2015, when we had another ordination, we make the whole payment to the conference in order to redeem what we spent in 2014. So, we didn't owe the conference, and the conference, we are not indebted to the conference. So, we want to thank God for Baba's permissive, because we are able to do that. Even before then, we used to borrow money from conference. Whatever we put as a bill, Baba will grant it unto us. But to God be the glory, God has helped us and has helped Baba. And since that time, we didn't borrow again before we hold Orif. Because Baba was able to give us a road map how to generate money to, to fund the Orif program. Please, can you give him another round of applause for that? In 2017, when our second conference supervising prophet died, and uh, that is Baba's special apostle, Andrew Adekunle Adebayo. The, through Baba Abidoye, the, in, uh, the, uh, the burial committee was inaugurated, and the conference played a significant role at that barrier. And the barrier was led by a strong person who happened to be the spiritual father today, Baba Emmanuel Abiodun Alugo, was the delegate that led the conference to the burial program at Abel Kuta, including Baba's wife. So Baba followed the prophet, and that is, Baba gave Baba Adebayo a very befitting burial. And what you sowed, you will reap. What Baba showed then, that is what is reaping now. So we want to thank God for his life. Uh, during the 50th anniversary of the burnt Orif, Baba installed the third conference supervising prophet uh, based on confirmation, spiritual confirmation he has. So, and Baba made the program another glorious event. Uh, it was the first class of ordination of the conference supervising prophet we have ever had. So we want to thank God for the life of Baba on that ground too. Uh, we cannot say it all because of time. Uh, one thing we want to say about Baba, as old as he, Baba used to apologize even when he does things wrong. He doesn't underrate anybody. So Baba is the type that when he see that he has do one thing wrong to you, he will come back to say, my son, sorry. I didn't know it is that. It's not too big to say sorry. So that is another good thing about Baba. Uh, Baba appreciates Falu. Once you do things in the right way, he always appreciates you. So, and a lot of other things. Baba Falu fishing. Baba work by fishing. Baba is very strong and bold in decision. So thank you and God bless you. If we are doing it for God, we can do it much more better. Now I'm inviting forward the, the CS wheel of the Pastoral Council, special applause to Pastor Nofuye for the Pastoral Tribute. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. This is the tribute of the pastor's council to a man with a special grace. The pastor's council wants to, through this tribute, celebrate a man with a special, a very special grace. A man of unparalleled strength. A man of great wisdom. Our number one pastor. 
who pastors this church to do to today's enviable level in the committee of churches worldwide his grace pastor dr samuel adefila abidoye papa was a man of great vision strong focus we took the church to enviable position under his watch and guide amongst this his developmental vision for growth of the church was unparalleled the formation of pastors council was made possible as a result of this vision alongside other great steps that papa took and quit as help in the development and growth of the church both spiritually and physically during his regime as spiritual father to say he has worked tirelessly is a big understatement papa abidoye the spiritual father a special grace and unequaled ability bestowed on him by God Almighty who called him and who strengthened him who gave him the grace and the power to continually walk in his vineyard Baba was great in life and greater even in death his steps were very bold baba does not shy away from challenges he faced challenges squarely and he succumbed the challenges baba took giant steps that include new structures in the church and the and this bring forward the ministerial ministries that Baba put in place in line with the scriptures. Papa took giant steps, and that includes the creation of the pastoral council, the evangelical council, the teachers' council, and numerous new districts and model churches, which was unequal in the annals of this church. Baba took the church from the tiny enclave called International Headquarters in Kaduna to a wilderness that became a mighty city today. Papa showed interest in all segments and stratas of the church. The children, the women, the youths, the brigades, even the sports council in the church. He took them to international level. He showed interest in them and supported them even unto the end. At his age, we are in real awe and surprise at the level of strength, wisdom, memory, and great help that God bestowed on him, which he applied for God's work. Baba showed unequal strength, and we thank him. We thank, we congratulate the family and the church for having somebody like him. Thank you, and God bless you. Without wasting much of our time, now I'm calling on the Evangelical Council, which the uh, Council Supervising Evangelica is coming, Special Apostle Evangelist Adeshino. Let's appreciate God in his life. What a way to come. 
what a way to live and what a way to depart. So death can be so peaceful. Baba Samuel Adefila Abidoi has written another history about death. May his soul rest in peace. While we are gathered here to celebrate the illustrious life of one of the best seraphs of our time, I want to call I would like to convey my heartfelt love and long-standing respect for our father, Most Reverend Dr. S. A. Abidoyu, who I call the Joshua of our time. <clears throat> Baba's ordination to a, a number of us might have been on a zooming. Just the normal trans transition we experience from time to time in our church after the, the demise of the leader. But one thing I am quite sure is that it will not have taken you so long for you to realize the Cherubim and Seraphim Movement Church has a gem in our hands. And what a gem he was. Baba was the epitome of vision, insight, transformation, sacrifice, foresight, leadership, and godliness. These attributes are not just alluded to him because of the tremendous work God did through him for the church, but also because of how he lived his life before his official appointment as the Baba Aladra and how he lived during his stints in the office. Whatever transformation Baba wanted in the church, he lived it. He was a leader who could look at, a leader we could look at and pattern our lives after. This is because his trust and reliance on the power of God never wavered. His commitment to personal and spiritual growth was evident to everyone, even at such a golden age. Also, his zeal and passion for the growth of our church is unparalleled. The Cherubim and Seraphim Movement Church worldwide is what she is today by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and by the grace of God on Baba Samuel Adefila Abidoye. Let us take a journey back a little into two decades ago and let us try and picture where we were at that point, both physically and spiritually and compare to the enormous growth we have experienced all around in that time just because a man dared to trust in God's leading even when it looks crazy to the glory of God and for his grace on, on our father we now have a mega city on our hands. The size of our church worldwide are, has seen an exponential rise. Ministering gifts in various dimensions are operating at an unprecedented scale. And the blessing is seen on every of our members. His grace, Samuel Adefila Abidoi, is a shining star a radiant glory, an ever-beaming gem that will shine forever. We may, we may have buildings named after him. We may have streets and cathedrals dedicated to his undefilable memory, but none of these will be as important 
as the long-standing impression he left which will remain forever in each of our hearts. May his gentle soul rest in peace. Thank you, sir, for that wonderful tribute to our father. Ladies and gentlemen, permit me to invite forward Dr. Patience Ahmed, the Council Secretary of uh, the Teachers of Senate Women Church Worldwide, to come and represent the Council in paying tribute to our Baba. Let's appreciate God in our lives as he's come forward. Praise the Lord. I am here on behalf of my CST, Special Apostle Barista B.S. Osamoje to give the tributes of the Teachers Council on the occasion of late Baba Ladura Prophet Dr. S.A. Abidoye's burial at this Galilee land or your state in Nigeria. The tribute will be a mixture of my personal interaction with Baba and what he did for the Teachers Council. As a person, I first met with Baba Abidoye sometime in 2006 when he paid a courtesy visit to Abuja district and the then leader, now the chairman, Senior Special Apostle Dr. Funsho Oshoro, invited me to be among those to interact with our Baba. I saw a very great and intelligent man who had ideas and vision. After his return to the UK, we kept communicating and he requested an input towards his Heziba project, to which we were privileged to make contributions. After his installation as Baba, he constituted a women board of which I was a secretary with two other mothers, Agbeke Ogun Sanwo and Iyabode Balogun as member. We held the first election during the 2007 conference hosted by Abuja District and Baba inaugurated the Women Fellowship. Baba was writing scriptural teachings and messages for the tribune, mainly on issues of family, the church, and the society. Again, we were privileged to be part of that. Baba loved writing and published several books during his lifetime. After the, 20, after the 2018 conference at Galilee, to which again we were part and we were present to make, to give the position paper on church growth, it generated a lot of discussions and questions on how to move the church to greater heights. We were asked by the conference to write a position. Hence, the Teachers Council was inaugurated in 2019 with CST Osamoye being the first teacher of the conference. This brought the church to embrace the fivefold ministry Jesus gave his church. Baba had a great burden to move the church forward in line with the word of God. At the Teachers Council seminar in February 2023, myself and the CST visited Baba at his residence. And there again, he reinstated the vision and direction to move the church from Kaduna to Galilee land. We are all witnesses to the Galilee land physical development today, even within a very short period. During this time of his, that we visited him in 2030, in 2023, Baba accused me of not calling him on phone as I used to and was no more sending emails to him. I apologized 
I was thinking of his age. During that same period, I put up a call to Baba about 8 p.m. And I was told that Baba had gone to bed. By 7 a.m. the following morning, Baba put back a call to me. I am bringing this to show that even at that very age, Baba was still very sound in his mind. Despite a limitation in his hearing. During our 2023 convention, we had great financial needs and we made an urgent request to Baba. We called him through his PA, Special Apostle Dr. Agbola. Baba gave us a robust discount. Baba was always available and approachable. Baba was physically present at the two previous conventions and he ordained the first set of teachers in 2013. Baba kept encouraging us in the teachers' council to hold fast to the word of God and teach the whole council of the word and let people be free to decide whether they wanted to accept the word or to reject. Lastly, I can attest that on several occasions in my discussions and encounter with Baba, he confessed his personal belief and trust in our Lord Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. Baba had great regard to leave the church, the various ministries, and the women fellowship to levels comparable to other Christian denominations through sound biblical teachings of the word of God. Baba, we will miss you. But we know you have gone ahead of us and you are resting in our, our, our Savior's bosom. May God continue to uphold his church because Jesus has promised that the gate of hell will not prevail against it. May God bless his church. We thank you for listening. I say happy celebration of the life and time of Baba Abidoye. Adieu, Baba. On this note, permit me to invite forward the representative of the Mode churches for their tribute. Please appreciate the director of mission of our great church, Special Apostle Dr. M. Pupola. the procreator of the modern church ministry, a tribute to Baba Ladura Same Adifla Abidoye. I bring this tribute from the modern churches and parishes. It was indeed the dawn of a new era on the 6th May 2006 when Prophet Dr. Samuel Adifla Abidoye was enthroned as the fifth spiritual father. Baba Ladura and the chairman of Cherubin and Sarah Women Church Worldwide are your new. History has it that the sun was exceptionally bright that day, signifying the beginning of a new spiritual and total reguration of the entire facade of the movement church worldwide. In 18 years of his stewardship, Babala Drabidoye set in motion an unprecedented gales of renaissance that swept through the Cherubim and Sarah Women Church and indeed the Cherubim and Sarah Unification Church of Nigeria, in Nigeria and in diaspora. Baba Samuel Adefila Abdoui was a great visionary, an exceptional catalyst leader, a reformer, a brave soldier of Christ. He fought many battles and encountered innumerable obstacles through his years as ordinary member of the church up till its ascension and administration as the spiritual father of the CNS movement church Ioni worldwide. Despite his royal pedigree and vast exposure to foreign culture, having spent more than 40 years of his life in the United Kingdom, Baba Bidoui was an humble father figure whose doors were permanently open to all levels and categories of church members without discrimination 
as a brilliant, astute, and accomplished administrator, Baba identified, mentored, and deployed groups of talented and resourceful young men and women. It has pleased God to gift, to give, to gift the movement church. These corps of human resources help to drive Baba's seven-point agenda, the Ebziba project, ensured a momentum, monumental turnaround in the life of the church while bringing it to the enviable height it is today. It is no longer no wonder, therefore, that Baba Abidoye still worship recorded the most unprecedented spiritual, physical, human, social, and economic growth ever witnessed in the history of Cherubin and Slavic Church Movement Church are your new. The greatest landmark and the most unassailable achievement of Baba's Abidoi, 18 years of stewardship, is the Galiland, Galiland Project, which gave birth to the spraying, spraying Galilee City on kilometer 42 in Lorry, Ibadan Express Spray, Uri Lego, or your state. Which currently serve as the global, I repeat again, which currently serve as the global spiritual headquarters, the seat of the spiritual father of the Sinai movement worldwide. It was here Baba Bidoye, spirituality and visionary leadership disposition instilled confidence in a group of well endowed individuals, members of the church, to rally around the spiritual father and to make the Galilee land project a reality. Perhaps the second greatest landmark achievement of Baladra in the spiritual space of the movement church is the creation of the modern church ministry. The whole essence of the modern church ministry is to help to successfully drive the evangelism aspect of Baba's SBR project, especially as it pertains to soul winning, church planting, membership drive in Nigeria and across the globe. It is pertinent to say that the idea of the modern church was not to harm the existence and operation of the existing district in any way. Rather, it was an ingredient of Baba's reform agenda. Baba Bidu never for once encouraged these grotwood branches to break away from their district, but to complement the existence and activities of the district as the component unit of the church. This, the modern church ministry has been doing. With more than 34 modern churches and parishes scattered across Nigeria and still, still counting, as well as many more springing up in the Europe and United States of America, the modern church ministry has become an enduring legacy of Baba Ladra Abidoye. Baba was, not, was our procurator, a father and a mentor. Towards the plight of modern churches, Baba was always attentive, supportive, and compassionate, but will not hesitate to upgrade and sanction any discretion or infraction by operators of the ministry. Under his watch, the ministry has come to stay on the farm ground. As we bid him farewell to his great to this great apostle of Christ, prophet of the Most High God, the modern church ministry will not only grieve his absence, but also celebrate the richness of his life he lived. His physical presence will be profoundly missed, but his spirit remains a guiding force in our lives. His memory in our hearts will forever resonate with his legacy of fatherly love, wisdom, kindness, hard work, and spirituality. Rest in peace, beloved Baba Samuel Adefila Abidoye. You left an indelible mark in the lives of the Modern Church Ministry and its member. Your spirit will continue to, to inspire us all the days of our life. Sleep well, Papa, until Resurrection Day. God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, permit me to invite forward the secretary of the uh, burial committee who also doubles as the secretary admin of this great church 
to take us through the announcement. There's no other person but Special Apostle Femi Ayinyelola. The reputation of the righteous becomes a sweet memorial to him, while the wicked life only leaves a rotten stench. In the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, on behalf of the acting spiritual father, the most senior special apostle, Prophet Dr. E. A. Alugo, on behalf of the Conference Secretary General Ademola Odetundun, and on behalf of the Funeral Committee Chairman of our departed spiritual father, Senior Special Apostle Dr. E. A. Awode, I heartily welcome each and every one of us to this August celebration in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We want to welcome all our fathers and mothers and all illustrious members of this church that has come from far and near to celebrate the life of our spiritual father. We have seated among us today our fathers, the most senior special apostles, we have our fathers, senior special apostles. We have today in our midst a man of God who would be the preacher for this day. Pastor Allah should become marking of light bearers ministry, Ushugo. We have the wonderful children and family of our departed father seated with us today. We also have in this gathering, our father, Dr. Olumuewa Ajayi, and the wife, Reverend Mother Prophet Esther Abimbola Ajayi. We have elders from Alan Grove, UK, our district chairman, all senior district secretaries, all prophets, pastors, evangelists, teachers and model churches that we are all gathered together here. Our wonderful choir, thank you for the melodious song that you have been giving us. And, and all members of this church, we are all welcome before the Lord today. Our program will continue tomorrow by the grace of God. Tomorrow, we would be starting with a program that we have tagged Health Check. This program would be anchored by the family and it's a means of giving back to the society. By the grace of God, this program will commence in the morning by 9 a.m. and it will run through 11, 12 in the afternoon. At the same time, we will be observing a sports activity where the youths and the children would be competing in the handball match. By the grace of God, when it is 4 p.m., we would be converging here for the service that we tag a night of tributes. This program would take us through to 7 p.m. and it will terminate. On Thursday, Baba will be taken back to his hometown, Umuara, for the last time. And there will be a line in state at Ilela before we proceed to GSS Umuara for a service of song. On Friday, by the grace of God, we would be having the wake up service here at Galilee. And the program shall commence by 3 p.m. The service on Friday would be coming up in the frontage of Galilee Nursery and Primary School. On Saturday, there would be line in state at the same venue, Galilee Nursery and Primary School, 
by 8 in the morning and it will end by 9.45. By the grace of God, we would commence the burial service by 10 and it will last by 12 noon. The final burial would come up at the Molossium and after the program, we will proceed to the frontage of Galilee Primary and Secondary School for the reception. On Sunday, we will be appreciating the Lord in the Thanksgiving service where we will all gather before the Lord to appreciate what God has done in the life of our spiritual father. The sports activities that will be coming up tomorrow will be coming up at the frontage of this auditorium. This sport program will be coming up by 9 a.m. in the morning. And the health check will be coming up at our Ori brand. Please, let's take time to be there. By the grace of God, this great church will be observing 2024 Mount Oreb Ascension, and this program will commence from the 29th day of April, and it will take us through the fifth day of May 2024. On the 29th, we would be having an extraordinary conference meeting that all our fathers would be seated to hold. By the grace of God, on the first day of May, shall be the day for installation and anointment of the new spiritual father. The prophet and prophetesses of this great church shall be anointed on the third day of May 2024. And there will be thanksgiving for Oreb Ascension. By the grace of God, it is our prayers that all our lineup programs God will see us through them all in Jesus' name. And all that have come from far and near, God will grant you joining masses back to your respective homes in Jesus' name. Thank you and God bless you all. Lesson. Lesson from one of the representatives from Mother Church. The lesson for this glorious service is contained in the second book of Timothy. Chapter number four, from verse six to verse eight. Eko kika fun isin ologu ojo chioni. La rini nu iwekeji Timothy. Ori keni la chi eseke fa chi de eseke jo. The second book of Timothy, chapter four, from verse six to verse 8 I read for I am now ready to be offered and the time of my departure is at hand I have fought a good fight I have finished my course I have kept the faith henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord the righteous judge shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that, have, that love his appearing. This is the word of the Lord. May God bless his words. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, 
it is time to hear from God. And we'll be hearing for, from the servant of God whom God has prepared for us. Our own. A teacher, preacher, a counselor, mentor to many, through whom God is leading the light bearer mission, Oshogo. is no other person, but Pastor Olao Shebiko Maki. You are welcome, sir. time like this. Lord, I pray that you will make your word real unto us. That at this particular time, we may look into our lives individually and make the necessary adjustments so that we can end well. Lord, speak. And let us hear. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. God bless you. I want to thank the committee for giving me the opportunity. I don't have this opportunity because I'm the best. But once again, I want to say thank you. I'm not taking it for granted. I want to congratulate the family of Baba for having a father like this. A father, a role model, a father who has lived a life that children can follow. So any child who wants to actually focus the place, then such a child has gotten the opportunity of having a father whose steps he can follow. 
May the Lord give you wisdom in the name of Jesus. I bless the Lord for the theme of the program of the barrier of Baba, The Place. This theme is focusing us, focusing us on a place, shifting our gaze from the unnecessaries to focus on the place that the Lord has prepared for us. Jesus Christ said, I am prepared, I mean, I am going to the Father to prepare a place for you. And he gave the description of that place. He said, that place is where I will be also. He said, it was my pleasure and my desire that all of you will be where I will be. So this program of the burial of Baba is focusing us so that we can have the desire, a great desire to actually aspire and fight the good fight of faith so that we can be there. Praise the Lord. Now listen to me. Many people we usually criticize me concerning certain things. That is when I categorically say, I know that somebody is at the bosom of the Lord. I want to tell you, when you look at the life of a person and the confession of that person, then you can be bold in talking. I am one of the acquaintances of Baba. I got to know Baba, I think around 2004 or so. It was Pastor Ademola Kokwola who introduced me to Baba, who took me to Baba. And since that time, Baba had always showed interest in me. Deep interest, deep interest. So I can say I have a little bit of interaction with him to know and to say that right now, I know that Baba is at the bosom of the Lord. Whatever anybody might say, and I want to say again, if the type of Baba is not at the bosom of the Lord now, then I want to wonder who will be there. Baba lived a life of vision. Baba did not cultivate vision when he was Baba Aladura. No. I remembered when myself and Pastor Demola Kokoola went to him for the first time. Baba was saying that if he had the opportunity to lead the church, that he will make it possible for everybody to worship God according to his conscience. Under the same Baba Aladra, that was his exact word. That it will make it possible for everybody to worship God according to his conscience. Under the same Baba Aladra, and this is what gave birth to the model parish. That he knew that our tradition in the Cherubim and Seraphim are scaring away many people. So he said. It would be better to have an assembly where people can be free from tradition, but not totally from sanity. And so, he said he will be creating, if he had the opportunity, he will be creating the model parish. I, 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 I think it was the first time I will be hearing about model parish. And... Um, True to it, when Baba became the Baba Aladura, he made it possible. And um, I'm not here to give his tribute. I'm here to lay a foundation. What I'm saying is laying a foundation for the few things I will say. Baba Abidoye, in his personal life, had made possible what had been impossible in the children and seraphim. And this was not 
this was not an ordinary thing. For him to make this possible, he fought. There were certain standing orders that will have to go. One of the standing orders that will have to go if CNS will move forward is the headquarter at Kaduna. Now, number one, that place was totally choked up. No room for development again. And so God gave him, I know the story of how God gave him the vision of Galilee. It was a voice of God unto him. It was clear. It was not totally at night. It was coming to about a drum, maybe be between four and five. Between four and five, the Lord spoke. And Baba immediately called the person that used to be his um, PA then. And he relayed it to him. And they prayed together. And today we are seeing it happen. We love Baba dearly. But listen to me, my people. One thing about Baba was that he lived the life of his vision. And so from here, I want to address my colleagues in the fivefold ministry. My colleagues in the fivefold ministry, my message today will be much about you verse um, 7 of the lesson just read 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 7 says I have fought the good fight I have finished the race I have kept the faith we I have picked, I have finished the race, or I have finished my course as the title of this message. When we look at the life of Baba, we can say that we bless God for his life, that he has finished his course. Not that he has finished his vision. A vision is greater than the visioner. A vision lives after the visioner. But there is a portion of the vision that the visioner should live. And that is the portion of laying the foundation. My people, what God has helped Baba to do in his lifetime is just to lay the foundation of the total vision. Laying the foundation of the F River project. And then we bless the Lord that even during the laying of the foundation, the Lord has taken the church really, really far. I don't belong to any set of uh, any conference of the Cherun and Seraphim. Praise the Lord. I'm a form of a freelancer. I belong to all and not to all. But one thing is, Baba has taken the Cherun and Seraphim movement church beyond denomination. <laughs> Baba has made the Cherubim and Seraphim Movement Church the model for the entire Cherubim and Seraphim organization. When you are talking of having a Baba Aladura, it is Baba that I will see. It's the first Baba Aladura that I see that is having that is having a, 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 a vision a written vision a written vision which can be followed the one I have with me is just five year um, planning I don't know whether others have been publicized but that one in that one we have a foundation of what a, a, a really a real church of Christ should be a foundation of what a real children and seraphim church should be though the vision has not been totally 
fulfilled. It is left for us, the prophet council, the teacher's council, the pastor's council, the evangelical council. The Lord has used Baba to lay a foundation of fivefold ministry, which will be the pillar of the church. Now it now depends upon us how we now move things forward so that the fivefold ministries can actually work. Now, if we are going to make the fivefold ministry work, my people, we have to fight a good fight. In our various ministries, we have to fight a good fight within ourselves. In the church as a whole, we have to fight a good fight to make the fivefold ministry functioning. It is not what I am seeing on ground right now is just a mere foundation. A mere foundation. If it is going to function, there are many things we are going to change. There are many things we are going to fine tune. The way we bring people into these fivefold ministries, I, I, I don't think it is totally all right. It is not a question of everybody choosing where it should be, choosing where it should be. It is a question of people who are called, people who have the callings upon their lives, and we have seen the calling upon them. I believe these are the only one to be ordained and to be put into the ministry. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Having said that, number two, my people in the fivefold ministries, how many of us have an articulated vision? I was discussing with somebody yesterday, and I was saying, when I say I have finished my course, do you know that it is possible for one to come to the end of his time without finishing the course? We are given four years. One term of four years. Two terms of four years, making eight years. Those of us who have been there, who had left, I want to ask this question. Did we actually have a course? Was there a course we were pursuing? Was there an agenda that God had given unto us that we are living our life to fulfill? Those of us who are there right now, I want to ask the same question. Do you actually have a vision of, of what God wants you to accomplish? Anything, is there anything that God has laid upon you to fulfill? Now, if we just come there and we do the normal thing, the church will never be moved forward. Baba Abidoye came, he never did the normal thing. He came with a definite vision. And with that vision in his life, Baba was focused upon that vision. Baba poured out his total life, his total life to fulfill that vision. It was the pouring out of his total life. And that's why Baba died while he was still active. I learned that Baba was preparing to come to church that day. Am I right? So Baba died on, I mean, on active service, despite his age. He, it was not normal. Don't take it normal. It was a spirit operating in him. It was that spirit of the vision that was energizing him. There was a spirit in Baba that was fighting to fulfill destiny. A spirit in Baba that was fighting to, I mean, to fulfill the vision. 
It was that vision, I mean, that, the spirit of that vision that was giving Baba energy, that was strengthening Baba so that he was able to move forward. My people, I am pleading with you. If you are in a post without a vision, if you are in a post without a vision, if you are in a post without a vision, you will be cheating God. If you are in a post without a vision, you will not, you will not have a focus. If you are holding a post without a vision, there will be no achievement. If you are holding a post without a vision to follow, my people, you may not be able to say at the end of your four years or at the end of your eight years that I have finished the course. A man, of, um, a man without vision has no fight to fight. A man without vision has no goal to fulfill. So I'm beseeching. If we are going to move forward the legacy of Baba, let every one of us who are holding posts in the ministries, in the fivefold ministries, let us know what we are pursuing. Let us know what God wants us to fulfill. Let us know what we want to accomplish to the glory of God. It is when you have this that you can have the energy to pursue it. And I want to tell you, whoever has a vision and is serious with that vision, God will give him people to surround him to fulfill that vision. If people are not following you, if your people are antagonizing you, if you don't have your clique that will help you to fulfill a vision, it is because we have no vision. I am an example. I am a testimony. If you do not have a, a vision, God has no obligation to bring people to you. God will only bring helper. Helper to fulfill vision. We only bring it to people who have vision. People who are focused to fulfill that vision. So I'm beseeching you, my people. Now Baba is gone. Will his vision die? My people, the Lord has taken Baba home. What are we going to have now? A moving forward or a moving backward or stagnancy it is left to us I want to say once more if we are going to move forward we are not going to be what everybody is if Baba has chosen to be what everybody is Baba will never achieve anything now I remember was it 2015? No, 2010. When we were holding the first uh, Galilee year. That day was a very wonderful day. A very wonderful day. There was no building then. So tents have been erected. Expecting people to come. Just of a sudden, there was a warm wind. And a great storm. A great storm. It was powerful. It destroyed the total tent. If Baba were a weakly, what happened that day was enough to dampen the spirit of man. But you can see now a great city. Will this city develop? God gave the Israelites the vision of the land he has given unto them. You see, over the years, over the years, after, jo after Joshua, others were just doing what they could. They were not able to take the whole land until God raised David. I pray God will raise a David. And I pray you will be the David. I say I pray you will be the David. God raised a David. Who stood? Who fought? He stood, he fought, he took the whole land. I believe God will raise somebody. 
Now, listen to me. Praise the Lord. I respect order. But that person that God is going to raise doesn't need to be Baba Aladura. That person may be a very ordinary person. The God has given a vision and the ability. I am pleading if God is raising somebody like that, let not that person seek office. Let that person seek service. Service, not office. Chairman, you know, as office, you are man, come up on you, I'll be back. She might do quite quick, come up on you, no, Baba Ladura. But come up on you, let all the pioneer. My incapacitated man, if you are there and God is working something in you, I am pleading with you, focus on it. Execute it. People don't have to praise you for it. People don't have to know. But the little you can do, the little I can do, we move the legacy of Baba forward. And at the end of the day, we may be able to say, Baba came, Baba lived, Baba fought, Baba conquered. Baba had finished the race surely. The Lord will help us all. I pray that all of us will be able to finish well. I pray in the name of Jesus, God will help us to focus the place. To focus the place. When you focus the place, then you will serve the Lord with your whole life, with your whole being. The chairman and Seraphim is looking for another Abiyoye. Abidoye. The chairman and Seraphim Movement Church is yearning for the racing of another Abidoye. A man of vision. A man of excellence. A man of ability to fight through every odds so as to achieve purpose. The chairman and Seraphim Movement Church is waiting for another Abidoye. May the spirit of Abidoye come upon somebody as we celebrate in the name of Jesus. May the Lord raise another Abidoye in the name of Jesus. May the power of God come upon somebody as we celebrate in the name of Jesus. May another Abidoye rise in the name of Jesus. May the spirit of Abidoye not die in the name of Jesus. May the spirit of that video you not leave the church in the name of Jesus. Lord, let there be a transportation and a transplantation that, Lord, many Abidoyes will rise and the Lord will be glorified. Surely, Baba has fought the fight. He has overcome. He has finished the race. A crown that was waiting for him had been given unto him. Baba had been endowed in that white garment. He had been given the palm of the conqueror. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, fathers, we are here. Let us run as Baba Abidoye ran. Let us fulfill purpose. So, at the end of our days, we also can say, I have finished my course. Father, I have given your word. According to the ability you have given unto me, I pray in the name of Jesus that the spirit of Abidoye will not die. I pray in the name of Jesus that your hand will come upon us. I pray in the name of Jesus that you help all our fathers, our mothers, and all the leaders to fight the good fight, to run a good race, to accomplish, and to finish the course. And I pray the same prayer for myself, Lord. 
I covered the life of Baba. Help me also, Lord, to finish well. And you also will finish well. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. God bless you. And CNS shall live. Amen. Can we jam those hands together for the Lord very well? Amen. Let's have the vote of thanks from the Vulnerable Committee before we take the closing in. Praise the Lord. On behalf of the funeral committee of our spiritual father, the departed spiritual father, His Grace Samuel Abidoe, headed by most senior special apostle Emmanuel Awode. We want to thank God first for making this second day of the funeral program to be a success. And we believe that by his grace, the remaining programs shall definitely be a success in Jesus' name. We want to thank everybody here present. All of us are important. But we want to thank our special invited guests, most especially our father that delivered the message, Pastor Allah shall become Maki. We pray that God will give you more strength to do the work of God in Jesus' name. We want to thank our mother, Reverend Mother Esther Abimbola Jai, and the husband, Reverend Dr. Ademuiwa Jai for honoring our invitation. God will continue to be with you in Jesus' name. We want to thank our father, Pastor John Adegoki, who is the chairman of unification in Europe. We thank you, sir, for gracing this occasion. God will also continue to be with you. We want to thank the family members of our departed spiritual father, we pray that God will continue to uphold you and we grant you all long life and good health in Jesus' name. We want to thank our Father, who is our own, most senior special apostle Kazim, who I'm from New York, who is representing all the district chairmen in our church. And we pray that God will continue to grant all our district chairmen the strength to continue to uphold the church in Jesus' name. We want to thank the choir for your soul-lifting renditions. We pray that God will continue to minister to you to deliver more songs in Jesus' name. We want to thank all other important guests for uh, honoring this invitation. As we go back home, all of us, God will be with us, God will protect us, and grant us long life and good health in Jesus' name. Thank you all. Amen. Praise the Lord. Shall we bring this service to a close as we take the closing hymn? CNS hymn 456. Safe in the arms of Jesus. Life for ya, Lapa Jesu.
thank you once again this evening for making it possible for us to be here. We thank you for guiding our thoughts. We thank you for everything you have been doing in our lives since the beginning of this funeral service. Father, Lord, accept and thanks and praises in Jesus' name. Our Lord and our God, we thank you for being with us to conclude our today's course. Lord, as we are here to finish our vision, we beg to you, O oh Lord, grant us the grace to be able to accomplish our tomorrow's visions in Jesus' name. Our Lord and our God, as we are now going to our different places of our boat, we beg you, Lord, to come and grant us journey masses to our different places of our boat. And by tomorrow, when we shall be gathering again to conclude our another program, Father, Lord, be with us, guide our thoughts, and let us have full cause to glorify thy only name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Silent prayer. May the Lord hear our supplication and grant our heart's desire through Jesus Christ our Lord. Hello. Oh. 